Hi my friends, today we model this part, you can see what is this about and this is the drawing. We start with this contour, you see all the dimensions here and this is the part number 32 from my collection of 100 mechanical parts. New empty document. Take a look of this uh, workbench and select CAD, not Bender, because we create uh, mechanical parts. New sketch, exact plane. Polyline and some lines as you can see. Left down left, up and close. This uh, line must be horizontal. Then dimensions. This is 20 divided by 2. This is 28 divided by 2. This is 54 divided by 2. This is uh, 95 divided by 2. This is 63 divided by 2. Let's see how it looks. This is 13. Uh, this is 10 and all distance is uh, 38 minus 10. Here is a small problem. Vertical must be this line. The last dimension is this uh, 4 millimeters. And once again, we have to apply vertical. Fully constrained sketch, revolve, the axis is X, not Z, and we have a volume. Next is this uh, extension with dimensions 7 degrees, 62 degrees, 23.7, 26.8 and 10. Face, sketch and we place uh, two circles. One is uh, 26.8 multiplied by 2 to be a diameter then 23.7 multiplied by 2 we draw a polyline starting from this circle 
to the center and back to the same circle. These two are construction lines. And we place here two end lines. Dimensions. This is seven. This is sixty two. And we have a close contour, but not on one, two close contours so that we have to trim this and this and also this two degrees of freedom i suppose here is the problem control z let me apply coincident here one degree of freedom coincident also these two fully constrained close pad or extrude on 10 millimeters okay by default next are these three features cut hole and hole Dimensions 15, 33. Then metric 6 and 10. Face, new sketch, polyline, but let me apply projection here and then polyline starting from here horizontal vertical and we apply arc with center starting from here going right here dimensions this is uh, 15 and this is 33 close pocket all the way through the part okay then face sketch circle this circle must be placed on the on the axis and the position is at 33 plus 6 33 plus six dimensions in the drawing close hole diameter of 10 and also through the part okay another hole is here sketch circle distance here is 13 divided by 2 and the other position is 33 plus 6 
close hole now hole not simple but metric metric six the depth is uh, 15 and you see here take a look here when I click around you see that this is only uh, between these two faces then we apply threaded and model thread because we want to see here real thread okay you see that uh, thread good now we want to obtain another cut with uh, these three features cut thread and hole what is the distance 120 degrees we select pocket keep press the control key hole and hole all these three then we apply polar pattern we don't want to in this position but covering 120 degrees you see okay now we have to create this uh, keyway six is the width and 12.3 is the distance we also need to place these two chamfers and these two chamfers we select this face for the keyway new sketch then a rectangle with dimensions 12.3 enter and uh, 6 enter then we apply something interesting you know this procedure I apply symmetry by selecting two points and not the axis but the center point or another point you see okay pocket all the way through the part good now we select some edges now I keep press the control key two three four four edges with the chamfer of one at 45 one equal distance is one at 45 okay you see now all the features that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye